Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. Because the guy that I bought this from broke the hood and he had to replace it and it was about a thousand bucks or eight hundred bucks or something like that for the hood. So what I want to do is maybe put some kind of bumper on here so I don't break the hood is what I'm thinking. Well, that's why I have this up here. And by the looks of it, it shouldn't be too bad to do. Really. Maybe. I don't know. Another thing I want to do while I got it up here is hit a little weld on the deck here. It's cracked right here. So I'm gonna hit a little weld on that. First of all, let's just get this bumper thing figured out, maybe. So as you can see, the bumper has to come below the frame and out. Of course it does. Nothing can be easy, if you know what I'm saying. And that bolt there, so. Interesting, you almost need like a drop down. Bracket. So you only see something that comes down and then out. How are we gonna do that without I really don't want to weld into the frame of my John Deere. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is my John Deere, man. I don't want to... I don't want to... Frig. Get. Is there a way we can come up the bottom, maybe? Is there a bolt down here? Can you see anything? No, there's nothing. Look at it. They have absolutely no place to mount anything. This must be the cheap version of the John Deere. It has a... You cannot have accessories. Accessory. If you have a John Deere like that, let me know in the comments down below. Why wouldn't you? I'm going to have to do a little research on the internet here and see if they make an actual bracket for a bumper. Because I can make it. But if I can buy one, that might be even better. But who wants to see me make one? Who wants to see me buy one? Leave a comment down below because I don't think I'm going to get this done today. I thought maybe it would be a lot easier than this. But I will weld the deck up today, so let's get that done. Right up, though, because that only take a minute. And the crack's slowly getting larger, and we don't want that. And there's a crack here, too, but I don't know if I should hit that or not. Then I'll have to definitely paint it. I might leave that one for now. But let's get this one, because this one here could cause potential drama. Especially when it's, you know, getting pretty big. So I'll hit that magnet base there, like so. Here, well, it's going to be the easiest job I've had in a long time. Maybe. We'll have to see how she goes. Are you watching? Probably not. I wouldn't. Oh, careful. Here we go. I think that's it. I don't want to get too carried away. So we got that well in. Let's get a little brush ruski and get a little brush ruski and see if she looks okay. Oh, oh yeah, we got her again. Look at that. Hey, okay. little, not the best looking well, but hey, it works. Holy, we have to order a GoPro friggin' lens. That really sucks. There we go. All right, well, there we go. We cleaned up the rust along here and this and that and the other thing. I'm just gonna, I cleaned up a little bit more rust on it because I just wanted to slow down. We should actually fix that too, which we will. But for now, I'm just gonna prime right here. There we go. Give that dry a little bit. We'll give her another friggin' coat. And that will seal it all up, Captain, until we get some paint on her. This thing's planning to last me a while. And once I get some John Deere green, we'll weld that little crack right there and get it fixed up. And maybe I'll make the brackets up there if I got paint. If I'm getting John Deere paint, I might as well see. We can use these two holes to actually bring a bracketry down. So I have those two holes on the other side too. Figure if it does, we're golden, Jim. Sure do's. So there you go, that's what we'll do. Use a piece of this. No, nope. I'll use a piece of this. Right there, flat bar, we'll cut a piece to go down and then we'll come across with the bumper off of that because I don't need much. Well, that's probably not thick enough. Maybe we'll use some angle. I got some angle iron too. We'll have to see how far the hood go here. Yeah, we can use angle iron there. So put some angle in there. Well, do we have any angle? In there. Well, that's a big piece of flat bar. I think it has some angle downstairs. The only problem with the downstairs angle is its bed frame and that is not fun to drill through. 
Actually, she's kind of cocked over to drill through. Let's give this another squirt. She's drying fast today. We want it nice and thick. Okay? We want to get her on there. Don't worry about the grass. Just paint right over it. That's fine. It's not going to hurt nobody. Let's go more. Let's get this thing just running. There we go. Okay, get some around the corner there. Perfect. We'll let that dry. And I'll go and take a walk, see if we can find any angle. Check this out. I was able to find two pieces of bread frame that were actually 13 inches long and already had actually two holes in it. And they're damn near at the right spot too. Do you believe me? I friggin' wouldn't. We got her figured Ouch! Right in the knee hole. We got her figured out here, Captain. We're gonna end up uh, making this ourselves because that's what we do. I went one lower and one higher and my measurements were off, as always. So we're gonna do this again. It must have went two and a bit. It's supposed to be one and a bit. Nothing wrong with having a couple extra holes. And just so you know, the trick to drilling holes in bread frames is to go slow. Let's remeasure this because obviously I cocked right over. So it's two. Oh, okay. I see what I did wrong. So we want to go from that hole down. We only want to go there. Hold on. Right about there. All right, let's do this again. So we're going to go right out there. Careful. Easy. Gentle. Nope, this ain't my favorite drill bit. That's another thing too. Make sure you don't go with your highest drill bit possible. Be at a ball. Be in places to hang out. It's a really, real small one. And we'll just walk our way through, nice and easy. Really. All right, so there's a pile of hole. We'll go up to this one. Looks like we're gonna run a, a carbide tip through her. Let's see how this one does. There you go, she walked right through. Next, extra large. Then the lights and slow. See that? Unless you have a high speed drill bit, go slow. Let's see if this is right now. If we look right here, right here, looking right here, are you looking? This has got to go this way. Hole lines up there, hole lines up there, and there we go. So that's perfect. So now, what we gotta do is we gotta get some bolts through there somehow. So this plate has to come off. I'll take the damn hood off too, you watch. What happened, hey? 10, 10, and then whatever. So what we got here? We got ourselves a ain't wrong. The fucking cricket's still out there. I think he's in the garage. Let's pull him out of here. What are all? Well, I don't know. I don't know where he is. Okay, where were we? Should we take the hood off? No. Should we do this? No. Should we do that? Maybe. How far down does that go? I'm hoping that's a two piece. Sure is. Okay, there's not too many screws here. Let's get this thing out of the way. Here we go, you ready? I'm not. And I guarantee you, you can see more than me right now. There's one. Am I on it? I can't see. Must be. Okay, that's that. Now we need them. How about a number nine? Too big. How about a number eight? There it is right there. Five sixteenths. So up here, she's not metric. Down there, she's metric. You believe me? I wouldn't because that doesn't even make sense. It is a freaking John Deere, it is. Oh my god, why snap on? Or should I say Y hands? I have a bad feeling it's just not four bolts that are holding this plate on. Just saying. It wouldn't be that easy. Oh, it might be that easy. Still thinking the hood's gonna have to come off, but I could be wrong. What do you think? Firing minds want to know. Of course it does. Why win it? So I move the hood, you take them bolts out, and then you shut it, and hopefully we can get to these ones under here. But I could be wrong. No, no. Oh, there they are, up here. Oh, dick. There's one. They're gonna be fun to put back in. Oh yeah, we got it. Pat. So now I should be able to lift the hood off. So now we should be able to slide this right out of here. And there's a the muffler. When we get in here is the next question. Frig, we can get one in. We might have to remove this plate to get the other one in. Oh, it's just a heat shield plate. We can handle that. There we go. There is, oh, hold on, it's hooked on the muffler. The hook on the muffler. Get off there. Ah! Uh -huh. Oh, there it goes. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay, so that's out of the way. So now that we got that out of the way, we can get to these bolt holes right here, which are gonna hold my brackets, which are right here. Wrong one. Which are right here. There they are. So let's get some nuts and bolts to hold them in, and we should be good. How are we for a muffler? Oh, right in front of the muffler. Why wouldn't it be right in front of the muffler? How much turning radius do we have here? We're gonna have to go in front of the muffler. It'll be fine. It's what we'll be able to keep paint on it. 
Well, that's kind of a dick. Why would that be right there? Yeah, we're gonna have to go this way. Is what it is, it is. Let's get a couple bolts see how it feels. All right, well, there we go. We got the brackets mounted with the bolts, lock washers, and everything else on her. So that's good. I notched the muffler a little bit so she has a little bit more clearance to blow out the old Duska Ruski. Should maybe weld a heat shield in here and that way it'll blow it towards the ground and be even quieter. But we'll have to see what happens. Might get pretty snappy. But now that we got that done, we can get ourselves a square and we'll square it off. Now I was gonna put the bumper back on to do this, but I figured, you know what? It's all good, Captain. We'll just do her like this. That's what I say. So you wanna make sure you're square to the frame. You come up a little bit and we'll give her two marks. One, two. There we go. So we're gonna cut it off there. We gotta cut her on a down slope angle so they're square. If you know what I'm saying, like square to the ground type deal. So what we'll do there is we'll put this in here and we'll give it another mark. I know this garage probably get the squarest thing, but it's better than eyeballing. Careful. Easy. Maybe it's not very eyeballing. Pretty close. There we go. So now we can grind them off. Careful. Easy. Gentle. Careful. I don't want you to catch myself a fire, cow. You know what? I gotta turn that. I gotta catch myself a fire. There's one. And we're almost through two. And there's two. That was not quite the right angle. Dangle. Yeah, that's better. So now that that's done, cut them welds out. On that old piece of bumper, and we'll reuse that piece of steel we will. So let's get cutting them off. Holy, we're just cutting everything off. How's the lens? Dick. How's your heat temperature? Dick. Why wouldn't it be? Here, stand up here. So I'm not getting grind shit all over you. Run. Oh. There. Oh, oh. Look at that golf cart over there. That just looks sick, doesn't it? That's gonna be slammed. Holy f did I get that tight? Oh great. I'm gonna wear this grinder with the first three, three months I've had it. There you go. One. There we go, Captain. Now we gotta grind this flat. By the way, thanks for the bumper there, Shorty. Hey, he took this out of his garage for me. He said, I have a bumper. I have an old piece of shit, piece of steel here you can have. Didn't you, Bill? All right, you did, bud. Yay, I made it. All right, so there we go. All right, that should hold it. Looks pretty centered. You watching this? Probably not. All right, there we go. Put another little strip across the top. Make sure she's nice and strong. That's a good one. Well, there we go. We got a bumper on the John Deere. Let's get her back together and see how she locks. We're all done. She's back together. And look at that. It's friggin' perfect. I'll stop anything from hitting the bumper. I'll bang it first and she'll be mint. So it turned out good. Leave your comments down below if you like that kind of stuff. Leave your comments down below if you think I did a good job on that. Leave your comment down below if you think I should go out and get some John Deere green and yellow paint. I'm thinking so because that turned out pretty nice. Friggin' right it did. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please leave me a comment down below if you did enjoy it. And please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you really think. Because I always want to know. Because I love you guys. But hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. This is another fabrication video by the Dirty Old Wilson. I got all sorts of it. Love you all. And until next time. You know what to do for now.